pleasure to speak to you about my favorite form, probably all of our favorite forms of intellectual property, trade secrets. Um, you know, trade secrets are, are they're my favorite uh, because we get to be on the same bleeding edge of technology that we are in patent cases, but we get to uh, have the additional scandal, deception, and betrayal that make uh, the trade secret cases more fun. So we should begin by admitting that there is a kind of a muscle memory, a kind of bias, uh, not just in the technology industry, but I think in the legal industry, which says that we have this idea. It must lead to a patent, otherwise we have failed. Um, and, and that simply isn't true. I think we, we've been hideously over-reliant on patent protection, despite the changes in the law, despite the changes in patent law, despite the changes in trade secret law and, and practice. Uh, the scores, I think, are in, and there's been a groundswell against patent protection. There's, there's no question that patent protection is, is weaker today than it was five years ago. It's, uh, patents are, are more difficult to obtain uh, because of 101 and 112 and even the first to file. They're, they're more difficult to enforce because of IPRs and you know, PGRs and CBMs and stays. And certainly it's, it's more difficult to prove or, or even assess damages. I think the cases are requiring a level of precision and certainty in damages that is not really realistic or, or even possible. Um, you know, you, and you can't talk about intellectual property right now with, without talking about that IPR trend, which is astonishing and continuing. Uh, there simply is no cheaper way to attack a patent. Um, and uh, with a lower standard of proof, different types of claim construction with the broad, broadest uh, possible reading, it, it really should be leading us uh, back to the oldest form of protection, uh, and that is trade secrets. Um, I think the, the issue is, uh, you know, the, the, the scope of trade secrets is certainly broader than patents. Um, the value and damages associated with trade secrets has historically been greater um, you can just look at the Waymo case, where I think one of the uh, asserted trade secrets is, is claimed to be worth over a billion dollars. 